Vinidu, you can take over. Hello and welcome everyone to the final round of Professor Sinirat Paranivitana Memorial Shield 2021 brought to you by the History Club of Royal College. I'm Vinidu Amrasekara and I'll be your host for today. Nanan the College and Richmond College have battled it out in the previous two round, in the previous rounds, and now both teams have advanced to the finals and will be competing for the grand prize of this competition. But first of all, let us take a look at the rules and regulations before we move on with the quiz. So the rules are as follows. Participants' video must be on at all times. All participants must have a stable internet connection. To answer a question, participants must use the buzzer option. For each correct answer, the team gets 15 marks. If the answer is incorrect, five marks will be deducted. If a participant uses the buzzer option while a question is being asked, the question will be stopped and won't be continued. Then that participant gets the opportunity to answer the question. So I think you all have understood the rules and regulations and now we are aware of the rules and regulations. I would leave you all in the hands of Mr. Indika Jai Singh, who will be our quiz master for today. So finally, I will wish you the best of luck and Mr. Jai Singh, over to you. Thank you, Minidu. Uh, first of all, let me congratulate the two teams, Nalanda College and the Richmond College to getting this far. I know this is a lengthy and a very challenging quiz for all of you. You went through the initial qualifier rounds, then the top 10 rounds, semifinals. So now you are at the final quiz. So we will be uh, doing a little bit of a change in the format for this round. So what we're doing is this will be a buzzer round, right? I'll be reading the questions a normal question will have two to three uh, sentences. So listen carefully. And once you are sure that you know the answer, just buzz. So as soon as one person buzzes it, uh, we will share the buzzer screen on the uh, main screen. So we, you all will see who's the first person to buzzer. I will ask that person to give the answer. Once I ask you to give the answer, you can't wait. You have to just give me the answer at that point. Please don't uh, say answers without me directing you to answer. Because if someone tells the answer and the buzzer says someone else, I have to give that person the chance to answer at that point. So always wait until I assign the question for you to answer. I will tell your school name and the number then just unmute yourself and give the answer. And as soon as you guys we, uh, buzz, I'm gonna stop reading the question. So it's a kind of like a risk uh, uh, give and take scenario where you can take the risk by uh, buzzing early and take the question. But also there is a negative five points if you get it wrong. But if you get it right, you get a positive 15 points. I know you guys went through the first round uh, and don't worry if you think you didn't do that well. This round will also constitute 50% of the final outcome. So let me uh, wish both of your teams best of luck. I'm gonna start with question number one. Everyone ready? Uh, can you share the buzzer? It's on, right? Okay. I'm starting with question number one. The area under the Roman Empire was divided into sections for better coordination. Roman Gallia or Gaul is now known as France, while modern Switzerland was called Helvetia. Which modern country was recognized by the name Lusitania in the Roman era? Okay, Richmond College A3. Can you give the Portugal. answer? Portugal. Sorry? Portugal. 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 Answer is correct. You get 15 points. So 
So Richmond College A3 gets 15 points. Right, we are moving to the second question. Metma, buzzer ready? Okay. Second question. As of today, eight sites of Sri Lanka has been recognized as UNESCO World Heritage Sites. In 1982, UNESCO recognized the first three World Heritage Sites of Sri Lanka. Two of them were the sacred city of Anuradhapura and the ancient city of Polonnaruwa. Name the third Sri Lankan site to be uh, inscribed as a World Heritage Site in 1982. Okay, Nalanda A4. The ancient city of God. Uh, unfortunately, that's incorrect. Uh, so Nalanda College gets minus five points. Uh, so the uh, accurate answer is ancient city of Sigiriya. Sigiriya was the first, one of the first three cities to be recognized as a UNESCO uh, heritage site. Gaul came in a few years later. Okay, I'm going to question number three. Chola Empire was a primary South in Indian uh, dominion along with the Pallava and Pandi kingdoms during the early medieval era. In the 10th and 11th centuries, they expanded their borders and borders conquering parts of North India, Sri Lanka, and parts of Indonesia under the rule of emperors Raja Raja the Great and Rajendra the First. Which animal was used as the emblem of the Chola Empire also depicted in their flag? Richmond College A3. Tiger. Tiger. Answer is correct. So Richmond College get another 15 points. Okay. We are moving on to question four. The Dunuila Walawa was acquired by the government in 1870 at a court sanctioned auction conducted to settle the debt duty or estate tax on the estate of Deputy uh, Queen's advocate James Alexander Dunuila. This building is used, named as what today? So, what is the current name of uh, Dunuila Walawa? Okay, Richmond A3. Town Hall Candy. Candy Town Hall. Yes, answer is correct. We are moving to the fifth question. The English Premier League was founded on 20th February 1992, following the decision of clubs in the Football League First Division to break away from the Football League which was founded in 1888. During the 29 year history of EPL so far, only one club has completed an entire se season undefeated. Name the English club which achieved this rare feat in 2004. Nalanda College A1. Uh, Manchester United. Unfortunately, the answer is incorrect. Uh, so Nalanda College get minus five points. The actual answer is Arsenal who did it in 2004. So after five questions, Richmond College has 45 points. Nalanda College has minus 10 points. We are moving to the next set of questions. So let me start with question six. Radiocarbon dating is a method for determining the age of an object containing organic materials by using the properties of radiocarbon, a radioactive isotope of carbon. Name the American chemist who developed this system for which he was awarded the Nobel Prize for Chemistry in 1960. Uh, sorry, Richmond A1, you can answer. Frank Libby. Sorry, can you repeat the answer? Frank again? Libby, Willard Frank Libby. Answer is correct, Willard Frank Libby. You get 15 points. Richmond College get 15 points. 
Okay, we are going to the seventh question. This is about Sri Lanka. The Kokila Sanjay Sandesha, written during the reign of, reign of King Parakram Baho the sixth, is said to encase the longest route taken by the Sandesha bird, any Sandesha bird, from the southernmost point of Dondra or Deundara, the cuckoo flies all the way to Jaffna to hand over the message to Prince Sapumal, who conquered the north for a, for a father who adopted him. Who is considered to be the author of the Kokila Sandesha? Nalanda College A1. Uh, Irugal Kulatilaka Tero. Yes, I can take that answer as correct. It's Irugal uh, Kulatilaka, Irugal Tilaka Parivina Dipati or Irugal Tilaka. Answer is correct. So now the college gets 15 points. Okay. Uh, question number eight. In 81st Academy Award ceremony held in 2008, Actor Heath Ledger won the award for the best supporting actor posthumously for the role he played in the film The Dark Knight by Christopher Nolan. This made him the first actor to actor or actress to win an Oscar for playing a character in a superhero based film. Which iconic character was played by Heath Ledger in this in the film The Dark Richmond A1? Joker. Joker. Answer is correct, it's the Joker. Right, we are moving on to question number nine. This company sold many consumer electronics under the brand name Gold Star, which some other household products like uh, soaps and toothpaste were sold under the brand name Lucky. In 1995, to better compete, uh, in the Western market, the company was renamed to its person. Okay, Richmond A2. LG. LG. LG Electronics. Answer is correct. So you, Richmond get another 15 points there. Okay, we are moving to the question number 10. Buzzers ready. This is a famous. Uh, this is a famous painting by Dutch painter Rembrandt which depicts a scene from the New Testament of the Christian Bible. Unfortunately, this was among the artifacts stolen from, US, from a US museum in 1990 and is considered the biggest art theft in the US and still remains unresolved. Name this painting by Rembrandt. Richmond A2. Storm of the Sea of Galilee. Yes, answer is correct. It's the so storm of the Sea of Galilee. So Richmond College gets another 15 points. So altogether, Richmond College got 60 points within these five questions. So they have 105 points. Uh, Nalanda College got 15. So they have five points uh, altogether as of now. Yep, I'm moving to question number 11. Hagia Sophia is a monumental place of worship first built as a Christian church in the sixth century. Later, it was captured by Muslim invaders and converted into a mosque as it stands today. In which city would you find this UNESCO World Heritage Richmond A4? Constantinople. Constantinople, the answer is correct. So you get another 15 points. Question number uh, Excuse me, uh, yeah. but Constantinople is not the uh, current name of that city. That's fine. We are accepting Constantinople or Istanbul, both of them. Okay. Uh, question 12. Uh, he was a pioneer trade union leader known as the father of labor movement in Sri Lanka. He was the founder of the Ceylon Labor Party and Sri Lanka, the Sri Lanka's first labor organization and the former mayor of Nalanda College A1. 
Gunasinghe, A. E. Gunasinghe. Yes, answer is correct. It's Alexander A. Kanaka Gunasinghe or A. E. Gunasinghe. 15 points for Nalanda College. You can, uh, if you are not sure about the first name, just give the uh, surname. In most cases, that would be accepted. If not, I can ask for the full name. Question number 13. Greek is categorized as an Indo-European language that has been spoken at least since the 13th century BC, providing the base for the advancement of Greek civilization. The modern Greek language is recognized as one of the 24 languages used by the European Union, which has about 14 million native speakers. What is the only country apart from Greece to declare Greek as their official language? Nalanda A1. Cyprus. Cyprus, you are correct. 15 points to Nalanda team. Okay, we are moving on to question 14. Uh, Edward the Eighth was the king of the United Kingdom from 1936 January until his ab abdication of the throne in December the same year. The reason for the abdication was the opposition he received against his desire to marry an American divorcee from the parliament and the Church of England. Richmond A3. Wally Simpson. Wally Simpson, the answer is correct. The question was to name this uh, lady. So her name is Wally Simpson. 15 points to Richmond College. 15th question. King Parakrama Bahu II is a very important monarch in Sri Lankan history due to his war campaign which ended Kalinga Maga's reign of terror into 1255 and toward two invasion attempts by Javaka, Javaka Chandrabanu. Uh, apart from this, he is famous for his contribution towards Sinhala literature and was awarded the title Kalikala Sahitya Sarvajna Pandita. Name the epic poem written by him based on the Kusa Jataka story. Nalanda College A1. Kao Silamina. Kao Silamina, answer is correct. You get 15 points. So Nalanda College is making a pretty good comeback this round. They got 45 points within the last five questions. So altogether, they now have 50 points. Uh, Richmond College has 135 points. So we have another 10 Questions more to go, all to play for. Right, I'm gonna read question number 16. The National Railway Museum is the national, is the, uh, is the railway museum, the National Railway Museum of Sri Lanka and it's owned by the uh, Sri Lankan Railways. The museum was opened in 27th December 2014 in order to commemorate the 150th anniversary of the railway service in Sri Lanka. Previously, the museum was located in Colombo. In which town would you find the National Railway Museum? Nalanda College A2? Uh, Kaduganava. Kaduganava. Answer is correct. You get 15 points. The hero of uh, question 17. The hero of the young Roman Republic uh, spent much of this his life farming just three acres, but was appointed dictator during the during an emergency in 458 BC. He ex okay, Richmond A2. Cincinnatus. Yes, answer is correct, Cincinnatus. So we were asking about the his name. So the answer is Cincinnatus, right? Uh, question 17, Richmond College gets 15 points. Question 18, Lady Ridgeway Hospital from the, for the children and women was built in the late 1890s. Wives of two British governors donated funds for the hospital. 
Lady Ridgeway completed the construction, but the original idea was her predecessors, who started the work of the hospital in 1895 during her period as governor's wife. Richmond A1. Are they have a look? No, answer is incorrect. Uh, you said Arthur Havelock, right? Yeah. Yeah. So the answer is Lady Havelock. We were asking for the uh, wife of the uh, person. If you give Lady Havelock, I would have expected, uh, uh, accepted the answer because we mentioned it's the governor's wife, right? So I'm, unfortunately, I had to give minus five points for that for Richmond College. Uh, question number 19. Queen Cali Cleopatra was the last ruler of the Ptolemaic Egypt prior to the Roman invasion. She is depicted as unique and identifiable with, the, with that name in many popular uh, media, like movies, cartoons, and etc. But she was not the only queen Cleopatra to rule in the Egypt. What was her original regional name with the uh, chronological name? So Nalanda A1? Nefertiti. Sorry, uh, can you repeat that? Uh, Nefertiti. No, not Nefertiti. We were asking for Cleopatra's name with the uh, regional number, the chronological number. So it, she was Cleopatra the seventh. That's the actual answer. So Nalanda College gets minus five for that. Okay, uh, question number 20. Okay, this is an easy question. Popular Sinhala stage drama, Hunuate Katawa, was created based on the play, The Caucasian's Chalk Circle, by German playwright Berthold Brecht. Name the legendary Sri Lankan actor and playwright who directed the Hunuate Katawa. Nalande one? Henry Jayasena. Henry Jayasena, so the answer is correct. You get 15 points for that. So during the last five questions, Nala the college got 25 points, uh, two correct answers one, and one incorrect answer. Uh, Richmond College got 10 points, one correct answer and uh, one incorrect answer. So altogether, Nala the college has 75 points. Richmond College has 145 points. So last five questions. Question number uh, 21. He became the world champion in billiards in December 1973 in the world uh, Nalande 2. MJM Lafayette. MJM Lafayette, answer is correct. So Nalanda College gets another 15 points. Okay. Question number 22. The Inca Empire dominated the Western part of South America during the 14th and 15th centuries before the conquest of Spanish. Ninth Sapa Inca, the rule of Inca, uh, widened the empire borders by warfare and made the empire flourish. Name this Sapa Inca, who according to the modern archeology span also made the Nalande one? Atahualpa. Uh, it's not Atahualpa, it's Pachacuti. So minus five points to Nalanda College. Uh, question 23. The Holy See is the jurisdiction of the Bishop of Rome, known as the Pope. Even through the papal states covered most of the central Italy during the medieval era, the unification of Italy Pope lost in the with the unification of Italy, Pope lost all his political power. Benito Mussolini created the Vat Vatican City as the Holy See and offered it to the Pope. Uh, which one, A3? Uh, 
I take, you don't know the answer. Okay, minus five to Richmond. So the question was, Benito Mussolini created the Vatican City as the Holy See and offered it to the Pope in exchange uh, for the papal recognition of his reign. In which year was Vatican City was created by the uh, Lateran Treaty? It was 1929. So minus five points to Richmond College. So two more questions. Question 24. He was a governor of Ceylon and his administration coincided with a period of growth and development to which his sound judgment materially contributed. His first speech dealt with the question of railway so that he may be considered as the father of railway enterprise in, C of, in Ceylon. He was also instrumental in building the lighthouse clock tower, which is situated beginning of the Chatham Street, where it intersects the Queen's Road and his name displayed in it. Who is this governor? Okay, now on day one. Henry Ward. Henry Ward or Ward. So 15 points for Nalanda College. Last question of the quiz. This was an aircraft carrier built for the Royal Navy and was the first world's first ship to be designed as an aircraft carrier. The ship's construction was begun during the First World War, but not completed until the end of the war, delayed by the multiple challenges in her design. In 1942, it was sunk by Japanese aircraft near the eastern coast of uh, Sri Lanka. What is the name of this ship? Richmond A3. HMS Aragus. It's HMS Hermes. So you get minus five points. So that concludes the 25 questions of the final round. Uh, in the last set of questions, Nalanda College got 25 points and Richmond College got minus 10 points. So altogether, uh, Rich, uh, Nalanda College has 100 points and Richmond College ended up with 135 points. So that's, those are the scores just for this round. Uh, we will see how the scores tally up uh, of the two other rounds and figure it out. So let me hand over the uh, things back to the Minidu to conclude the proceedings of this round. Thank you, Mr. Jai Singh. Huh? So, well, it was an intense round and the pressure was on both teams, but they managed it pretty well in the end. But ultimately we have reached the end of our final round. And I would like to take this moment to thank all the participants who participated throughout the competition. And in a short while, we will find out which team has emerged victorious in this competition. So stay tuned with us and we will meet you shortly in the awarding ceremony. Thank you. Thank you everyone.